The underdog has won 11 of the last 12 against the favorite. This is Brad Powers in the pregame.com studios. Just off the Vegas Strip, we're talking Friday night college football, big Pac-12 South game, Utah at Arizona State. Fez, who do you like and why? I'm on the Sun Devils plus the six. Yes, the Sun Devils. And this one's all about the series advantage for Arizona State. Think about this. They're a touchdown underdog. They're home, and yet they've won 11 of the last 12 games straight up against this team. Now, this trend goes back a long way, back to about 1980. But these two teams have played the last five games over the past five years, and Arizona State has won four of the five. And what I really like here is the only one that they lost was last year. So not only do they have an 11 and one trend situation series history, but they have revenge as well. Yeah, I really like this pick here. And you know me when I disagree with you in college football, I'm going to let you know. But here's a couple things why I like it. First off, let's talk Arizona State at home, dating back to the middle of last season, 7-0 and against the spread in all their home games. What is it about this home venue that makes them so tough. You know, I'm thinking about this. I really don't know. Maybe Tempe, it's awfully dry there. The humidity, global warming, most of the games are night. It really shouldn't matter that much. I'm not sure, but what I am sure is this is a team that is very confident when playing at home. And not only confident, but they're motivated here. This is a team that's sitting at four and five straight up. Need to win two of their last three games if they want to go to a bowl. And who's on deck? Washington. Maybe not a winnable game there, so this game means everything to them. And oh yeah, by the way, they get their starting quarterback back. Boy, the last three, four games, they've been shuffling in and out. Quarterbacks been playing with their four-string quarterback, getting Manny Wilkins back. Power ranks for me. I got him plus seven. I think the market's only treating it like plus three or four. And they're really missing Wilkins. I know that October 8th, they lost a game, and then he came back, then he got hurt again, and then most recently against Oregon, they lose by three touchdowns, and the Vegas marketplace overreacting to his absence in that game. Second main handicap. Second main point is the Utah flat spot. Utah had two really big games back-to-back. They play UCLA, a natural rival, go ahead and get the win. Close game, win the game by seven points, and then the all-in game against Washington. They went ahead and poured their heart into it. 24-24 fourth quarter, come up a little bit empty lose the game at Utah now I love the pick here but I'm not necessarily sure this is a flat spot they are coming off a bye to settle down from that loss last week and it is a team that needs to win out if they want to win the Pac-12 South Division title I think they're up for the game so they want to win the Pac-12 South title which will give them a chance to win the Pac-12 title as opposed to winning the national title I think it is a flat spot all right fair point here Want to make it official? Let's make it official. Arizona State, an underdog, owns the series history. They're 11-1 straight up against this team. Utah is more hungover than Vegas realizes off the tough Washington loss. The Fez math says Arizona State plus six. More videos at pregame.com.